Hey guys, Dave here for the Reptile Channel, Herpers TV. So, like last episode where we saw Kevin McCurley's monitors, I'm back at Nerd, and this time we are going to check out something that not a lot of people, even the most diehard ball python aficionados, have never heard of this. The microscale gene. We've all heard of the scaleless gene, but the microscale gene is something incredible and something completely new. And Kevin is going to share everything he knows on Zilla Presents, the Reptile Channel Herpers TV episodes. Damn, dude, you keep it warm enough in here? All right, so Kevin, show us everything about the microscale ball python. So the microscale is now finally proven that this is another, you know, genetically different than the scaleless head, which obviously makes a super homozygous scaleless ball python, which is, you know, originated from Barcheck, BHB. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like another line, and this line is uh, unique unto itself. I don't think they're even. Uh, compatible but uh basically this this gene originated uh as an import and it came through bill brant's uh facility down in florida i know the animal was kicking around for a while and somebody had uh the idea when they saw the missing scalation on the head and like the scaleless head that maybe that's an indicator for you know possible uh super homozygous scaleless and indeed it is correct the the super microscale is also a scaleless ball python. So if you look at this, you can see obviously there's missing scalation between the eyes and you also notice that the, the scales and a lot of the scales that are on the top of the head are smaller and they're beaded. What else is really interesting about this animal is I can sit here and just shut my eyes and I can touch the snake and I know that this is a micro scale. And because all the scales are beaded. It's not just a dorsal, it's the entire animal. So if, if I was looking at something like an Angolan python, I can touch an Angolan python and I know that that's an Angolan python just even if it was, you know, yeah. I couldn't see it. So these things are just like that too. All right, so here's a box. This is basically, these would be the het for super, which would be het for fully scaled snake. These are all micro scales. But as we look and break down each one of these animals, if I look at its head, it's missing all sorts of scalation. So if you actually were to look at the face of a lot of these snakes, you're going to notice that the, uh, the heat pits uh, on the upper lip, which normally you know they would have, is actually missing just on the micro scale. So that's just on the head. So if we looked at the normal, let's say the scaleless heads, the scaleless heads, the bar check line is basically the only difference that we know that it's a scaleless head is the missing scales between its eyes or on the top of its head. The micro scale has things like missing heat pits that a normal ball python would have. We have the beaded scales. It can uh, clean things up and we get, uh, it almost, the original micro scale almost looked like an enchi. So it, it was very, very banded. So we start getting these animals. So they're not having all the little alien faces on them. And uh, that kind of, it, it is genetic. So like you can see the banding on this this animal. And this is this is a Coral Glow Lesser micro scale. This is a Sewer Pastel Coral Glow Pin micro scale. It actually it could be hidden gene woman in there too. If you look at the head, you see it's very, very blank. So, you know, two thirds of the, that head right there is missing scalation. All right, so here'd be like a pastel micro scale. This one's uh, shedding. But you can see how like a good portion of the animal's head is bald and stuff like that. Once again, you can, it has the pebbled scales. So if I turn this over, it does not have a zipper belly. I'm just basically, I do not have a single scaleless headed ball python because there's so many people are doing it and they're, they're very competent breeders. So why would I want to, jump into something like that where I'm just gonna get smoked. So I just jumped into something that was just different. So the most important, one of the most important things about this is just a normal micro scale. Because if we're ultimately trying to succeed at making the super, we have to have these normals, because when I breed these to another micro scale, I'm gonna be able to make my super. So these, these girls are really, these are imperative as far as you know what we're raising and everything like that. So I can just breed a good combo male micro scale to this and then I can start making all the, the dramatic stuff. So, I mean, literally, you know, leucistic, pied, all those, you know, all these weird snakes. So what happens when I start making snakes that look like this, but they're scaleless? 
and I really what we want to do is want to create contrast and basically I don't want a lot of stippling we yeah, want to basically that. have like pure colors and then when the pattern so we want to go from this pure nice yellow to this little island of pattern but when we do the super we're really going to be able to do that all right so where did the micro scale gene originate where did it come from okay the micro scale originated out of the wild so just like many of our morse they come out of the wild and uh bill brant as i understand imported lots of ball pythons from africa and it was you know they were selling to pet co's or pet smarts or whatnot and they had put aside this you know any kind of oddities and there's this one odd animal that had a couple missing scales between its eyes and uh, the original male he doesn't even have you know much missing but there was somebody that was sharp enough to realize that and i think that animal was kicking around for a while but ultimately people zeroed in the fact that hey this could be a marker for, for scaleless did he think that it was another scaleless head or did uh, he think it, that it was another something different you know well the animal okay the animal did not look like other ones and we instantly once we, we zeroed or they zeroed in by the the scalation is all different the, uh, it, if you look at a scaleless head, it looks like a normal ball python, and then you with just miss, take yeah, with a, but, with a blood but patch. I have not yet seen a micro scale that does that does not have the look with the pebbled scales. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of them missing the um, the heat pits and having a more dramatic look to them. So basically, uh, no, they I think they thought that it was definitely I don't know if it was they thought it was different, but they definitely thought that it was a uh, het for scaleless. And you know, that stuff was significant money. You know, so this was like right, four, four right. or five years ago. Right. And uh, so uh, basically friends got, they got the first one, they, they went in together on a project, they got it, and then brought me in a little bit later because I think they needed somebody that would like kind of take, take off with it or whatever yeah, that, and uh, it. basically yeah, that's yeah. what I did. And I basically, once I got my hand on my first female, I was so excited. Like, wow, this is so different because I've seen the other right. ones, I've played the other ones, I like this. And I just, you know, it just gave me an unusual place to try something that was different that other people didn't have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then basically we've just kind of like coveted this whole thing. So right, there's not right, a lot of people right. with uh, micro scales. All right, so these are all the micro scales. So tell us what a super looks like. Okay, so a super, the super micro scale, so that's the homozygous. So that's like the pure, uh, example of what it can be. So it's a full representation right. of the gene. Okay, so anyways, we, so we have an animal that's missing all of its scales, all of its belly scute, all of its, its heat pits, and basically so there's no scalation. So now you're basically the skin that lies underneath all the scales, and that would be that. So this would be a super pastel pin, possibly NC micro scale. That is insane. And you know, it's it's one thing to, to see it, but when you actually touch it and you kind of visit with it a little bit, it has such an unusual feel to it. They're very, very silky. So this has done its third shed, uh, eats really well. So there's a little mouse right here. I fed it today. And I haven't been trying to pack this full of food, other than the fact that I'm having a mouse shortage. <laughs> we all are. It's 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 terrible, but uh, they they eat well. All right, so one of the things that I noticed about this was that there are no scoots. Yes, not at all. It's completely scaleless on its belly. There are no scoots. So like, you know, you have a scaleless corn snake that still has the scoots. This so, guy doesn't have them. So obviously there's only two produced, so we don't really know, you know, like, does this represent everything? Right. You know, so I, I don't really know. So th these are just the only two in existence. And so at the moment, these guys are a pretty big deal. So this is... Um, this is a pin, uh, possibly a pin enchi micro scale. And this is what I do when I when I look at ball pythons and, and other breeders are gonna be doing the exact same thing. We stare at things. We, we stare at what are the plus, yeah, yeah, pluses right, of it, right, right. what are the negatives. And what I'm noticing is how clean, I, I think I'm always after insane colors and I'm after contrast. Right. Contrast is so important. So if I make a snake that has that kind of thing, and then let's just say I take the color, you take, this vibrant color and if I can remove the scalation I think this is really gonna you know pop this is uh this is from my Orion stuff so this has got some super stripe and she and, and just just the color of that 
Right, and that in a super form. Oh, I, I, I can't, explode. I can't wait. And I think just like the whole scale thing, it could be like the next, it's the next level for the ball pythons because we're making ball pythons that are just beyond imagination. And one way to speed that up, because we are getting spoiled and we be start becoming desensitized. Right. We, we just, right. everybody's making these crazy things. And so what's the next thing that can really like do, like what's a gene that can dramatically alter it? Well, I think the scalation, you know, reduction is, is a huge deal. Well, and everybody color. asks, what's the next big thing in ball pythons? Boom, there it is. Well, it, it certainly could be. It's, uh, we just gotta make sure, you know, the health of these animals. So um, I've been raising one in more of a desiccated environment and then one on paper right? to, to, to see any difference. And by so, desiccated, explain that I, for I people put, that I don't put, know what that is. I put wooden pellets, if I, if I showed you. So I, this is actually this one's cage right here. These are dry wood pellets. Then I put some paper on here and I give it a water dish. And so this is kind of like a dry environment. And I've been putting, I've been keeping this snake in there just to see what kind of issues I'd mm -hmm, have. Mm -hmm. The only thing on its third shed, I got a little bit of dry shed right on the tip of the tail. Yeah. I'm learning, you know, that's, I'm literally just, you know, trying to figure this out myself. Okay. So is the super micro scale, is it, is it healthy? Is it going to be, you know, what I hope it's going to be because I'm the first customer. I need to know, Am I wasting a huge amount of time? So I have one on paper, one on paper and pellets with uh, sometimes open water dishes, sometimes with the little closed top. And uh, I haven't done anything special. So you're keeping them drier than you would a, just a regular ball pipe? Well, with the pellets, I'm kind of just trying to see what happens if I put them in a situation where they can kind of dry up. Right. So the pellets, they're uh, basically uh, woody pet so i kind of wanted to see what it would do but you know it's just just like a little personal experiment i just need to learn a bit about it but so far i'm very very happy i haven't really uh, conferred with anybody that that does the scaleless mm -hmm. ball pythons and ask them certain things i get you know everything's great but da, 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 you know and and i don't know but why is you know you know why has the price come down i don't know so i don't get to keep any of those snakes so i don't have those answers so i have to basically investigate myself so right here, these are the only two yes. super micro scales in the whole world. Yes. These two guys right here. Yes. Wow. So I really feel honored to be here to, to see these things and to film these things. Does anybody else film these things? Or am no. I the first? I'm the no. first one to be here to film these. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. Man, I'm honored. Wow. Kevin, tell everybody who's watching this video what the future of the micro scale gene is. Go yeah. ahead, in your own words. The future of the micro scale is, is greater than life itself. It is like the beginning of all life in itself. No, literally, uh, well, in my own little idea, the micro scale, the super homo, I can't even speak, the super homozygous, the super homozygous micro scale will allow the perfect palette for mm. clean patterning, strong contrast, and brilliant, unbelievable color. Mm. Well, you got a problem with that, Jennifer? Mm. The way I talk? Yeah. No problem. No. So anyways, so it would, the, the super micro scale, hopefully, in my opinion, as long as, you know, uh, I don't, something weird happens as far as like health things, but I feel like, yeah, they're, they're healthy. You can end up raising one of these animals. Yeah. You can have a nice, healthy adult, which is important. You don't want to have something that you raise up and you have to basically baby every shed, every meal, every something like that. So that, that, that isn't, you know, that's, that's important. So I want to make sure that I'm dealing with a gene that is uh, still, it's a, it's a healthy animal and you can still do things without uh, having to uh, baby them all the time. I dig it. So. What I would expect would be very, very clean patterning, uh, very, you know, the, the coloration, I imagine the coloration would just be exceptional, just really, really brilliant because, you know, I'm very much into the yellows. You see a lot of my reduced things, a lot of contrast and stuff like that. Right. And I have all sorts of weird genes going on. So basically I'm just going to start shifting all my weird stuff into my micro scales and then start making all the crazy supers. Why not? Okay. So as soon as you come up with a micro scale pied, yeah, that's that's what you like. Yeah, it's super guy, super scale. Right here. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yes, definitely, definitely. That that will be good. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do with this gene. I really am. 
Dave's roasting. Dave's. Oh, dude, you. What do you keep it like? 150 degrees in here? No, it's. But it, it basically, it's. Uh, the humidity is pretty substantial. But it, it's. You know, it's. We're probably at 88 degrees. Yeah, 86, 88 degrees. You and Dave. Rice on my forehead right now. Jeez. I'm sweating too, not as much, much as you are yeah, or whatever, and I'm hyper hair. too, so yeah, just yeah, to get me yeah, sit still yeah. is tough. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. If the, you like this video, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, do all the things. You didn't tell me I was a vegan. Oh, Kevin's a vegan, <laughs> yes. There you and go. And he tells everybody that, so. No, I don't. Anyway, yeah, everybody. Yeah, I, you were making crank calls. You were just calling like pizza. That's all right. Well, I had to tell you that. Yeah, Kevin is a vegan. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you here next time for more awesome, crazy episodes on the Reptile Channel, Herpers TV.